Good morning! We're here at La Pared Beach or Playa La Pared here in Luquillo this morning where we're going to be meeting Ramon from Sun Paddle Sports. He's going to take us on a two and a half hour kayaking tour up Rio La Sabana um, through the ecological reserve and we're going to learn about sea turtles, the history, the ecology of this area and he's not here yet but we're here watching the waves rocking and rolling hoping it won't be too rough a ride and we're ready. So Luquillo was the first land that Christopher Colombo saw in his second voyage into the Caribbean and he was able to see El Junque. So every town has a story or a legend and Luquillo got the story of Latin Torera. Torera is a name given by the local fishermen to a big white female shark. So the story is that beneath that, that rock over there, there's a cave that Latin Torera lived. So when somebody drowns in this water, the body was never recovered. He's got the, the kayaks all ready for us. And it looks like he's actually, uh, we'll, we'll see here. If he's going to do the stop, he's going to paddleboard and, and do the tour. But here's the Rio Sabana. And it is, it's, a very, it's got right here at the mouth. And this, uh, this river comes straight down from El Yunque, which is uh, about seven or eight miles uh, up. I can't really see it from here, but we'll probably have another view a little later on. And this is uh, this all sort of nature preserve from here out to the point. Right now we are right here next to the Sandy Hill Towers. So we are now going to be navigating this area. We're going to enter this little channel. Then we're going to come back. We're going to make a stop at San Miguel Beach. Then we're going to enter Pitaya River, this river over here, till this point over here. Then we come back to Savannah River, till the Rod number 3 bridge. So we're going to have to figure out the Puente del Número 3. And that's where we're going to uh, end the trip. And we come. Okay. A little session on how to paddle the kayak. And we're off, maybe. White mango, black mango, and the last one is called old mango. That's why it's called like that because it needs fresh water to survive. Oh, look. No, like the other trees that can survive in the water. Suddenly we're in the jungle. Okay. As Lisa said, uh, suddenly we're in the jungle. Just took a right turn and uh, check this out. Patito. Yeah, patito. Plus the patito. You know the pato. Right, this area is what I call the white cathedral. Why? Because the trees that we got around are very old white mangroves that grow so big for many years and form this big dome over here on top of it, like a big cathedral. What is that? <laughs> termites? That is termites, yes. The termite from Puerto Rico called Comején. But Comején, no sabía, es una especie So this area used to be a uh, sugar plantation and everything was cut down um, and uh, just to, to grow sugar cane. So all these trees, you know, are fairly recent, probably within the last uh, 100 years or so. And uh, these columns here are from uh, a railroad that, that ran through, for a railroad bridge that ran through, you know, the plantation. But uh, it was pretty much clear cut here. 
um, you know, years and years and years ago. All right, out of the uh, mangrove and uh, into the beach. I'm like, I'm sure you can see that if you great. So I have a big zoom on this guy, but uh, I'm just going to sit here and uh, let Lisa paddle us away right into the wind. I'm sure she's having a good time back there, right, Lisa? Oh, Jesus, blow my paddle. All right, <laughs> got to turn this off and help. So this beach here is the nesting ground of the uh, great leatherback turtle. These things are 1,500 pounds, about six feet in length. And uh, every year, they, they can, this is their nesting ground, so they come up here and uh, the, uh, the female actually come up and uh, maybe lay 100 eggs, uh, but um, she may come up uh, 10 times and do that. So she may have maybe 10, 10 nests here. So uh, one of the things that they do here is because the turtles sort of follow the, uh, you know, the moon uh, back to the sea once they, uh, you know, once they hatch is uh, over in the area that we're staying, Playa Azul, and in some of the areas here, they've turned the street lights in uh, red uh, so that the turtles don't uh, inadvertently uh, uh, follow the, the street lights and uh, not make it back to the ocean. Now, one of the benefits of the turtles is that uh, they eat their weight in jellyfish uh, every day. So uh, you get one of those 1,500 pound uh, great uh, leatherback turtles, they're eating 1,500 pounds of jellyfish and that, uh, that certainly helps uh, keep uh, the jellyfish off of uh, the beaches and make them more swimmable. So uh, that's one of the reasons why they're so uh, adamant about uh, helping the turtles and keep them uh, propagated. And also, uh, he also said that uh, out of every thousand eggs, uh, only one turtle really survives. One baby turtle survives. So uh, quite, uh, quite a low generation right there so uh, it's very important to sort of they help the turtles and uh, they protect these beaches during the uh, during the nesting season the, uh, the turtles lay their eggs and uh, the little baby turtles uh, hatch back out in 60 days more of the abandoned railroad Walking sounds? Yeah. These are uh, white mangroves, they're 100 years old. So, that the forest of Cayur is that area over there. Hmm. Sorry. So, so is there a Junque in the distance? can't see him here. There it is, up uh, clouds all over it, like it's been every day we've been here so far. Uh, the people who, who have uh, condos in these buildings have a magnificent view. Just a magnificent view here over the river, out to the ocean. Wow. And, ooh, little shot of El Junque. I don't know if you can see him, but uh, the iguana. iguana. Oh, yeah. he is, oh my god, look at the iguana. He is big. He's huge. Oh my gosh. I hope you can see so him so on you the know, video. Iguanas are not from Puerto Rico. They came from Virgin Island. Yeah. We huh. want to introduce a lot of people that bring it over here as pets. <laughs> because they saw a green little cute lizard. <laughs> but the little cute green lizard grow and grow and grow. They live in Puerto now we got 4 million iguanas in Puerto Rico. Wow. More than the population of Puerto Rico. So if you can see them, these bats are the only native mammal to Puerto Rico. You might see them flitting in and out of the camera. Hopefully you see some. There you can see some. There they are. If we could get captured, I don't think. Yeah, it was just so gorgeous here. So peaceful.
So we just spent three hours kayaking on La El Rio Sabana with Ramon from Sun pa Capital Paddle Sports. And we learned so much about the rivers here and what used to be here in this large nature reserve and how it was rescued from development, how it used to be a uh, sugarcane plantation and a, a cow farm. And um, now it's this beautiful long stretch of beach with a bunch of vegetation and a couple of rivers that hosts um, leatherback turtle nesting every year. And there's just so much to learn. We learned about the Taino Indians. Ramon was, was super, super knowledgeable of the area. And uh, it, was, it was a great tour. And uh, right now he is the only person who runs tours you know, through the, uh, the Rio Sabana. And then he is, and he is, he, it's, it's ecotourism. He's super invested uh, on the river and the, the, the uh, ecological impacts it has here. So, uh, uh, so highly recommend the tour. We'll put a, we'll put a link uh, to how to find him. Cost us uh, $30 each. $30 each. That's and all. It was, it was just it, amazing. Yeah. So when you come down to Puerto Rico, you have to come to the Kio and take Ramon's tour. <laughs> Oh, after a little kayak, we decided to have some lunch and we went to uh, went down the road. Bill's got it. It's our favorite place. And uh, you, know, you see it's like right on uh, La Pared uh, Beach. I guess super, super nice beach. But uh, it's a little rough. It's a little surfers. It's a little wind surfers. As you can see, you know, just uh, how it is here today. And uh, there were some surfers and wind surfers out here. And, uh, you know, not that we're professional YouTubers, because we're not, but uh, any professional YouTuber has to show you what their, uh, what their food is. And, and then they go, oh, it's so good, it's so good. Oh, it's like the most delicious thing I ever ate, made in my life. But uh, we, we failed to do that. We just dove right into our food. So it's only half gone. So hope you like our uh, attempt at being uh, semi-professional YouTubers. Great. Oh, wait, we have some good drinks, so I'm too. I'm drinking a guava colada. Guava colada. Guava, and super delicious fruit here. My rum punch is gone. And uh, it was. Well, Rooftop. Well, it's actually the second floor deck. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got a nice uh, techo, a nice roof over us. It's a great place. Perfect. Uh, it's perfect, though. It's probably about uh, five minutes walking from our house. But, uh, I'm as lazy as shit, so I drove here. Can't, uh, can't miss the view. My gosh, the view is just like, oh, my so, 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 so nice. And may your suitcase always be messy. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel.